Hello and welcome to Rando Rob. Each week on Rando Rob, I'll be showing and discussing one item from my large collection of collections. New shows appear every Monday and throughout the week, I'll be adding older episodes of Rando Rob that were previously only available to my Patreon subscribers. You can watch episodes of Rando Rob on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Rob O'Hara. Just look for the Rando Rob playlist. Audio versions of the show are available on my website at podcast.robohara.com or through iTunes. Just search for Rando Rob. Thanks for watching or listening, and I hope you enjoy this vintage episode of Rando Rob. The item that I pulled off the shelf, and when I say pulled off the shelf, it was sitting right there. There's a shelf right behind my phone, and I literally reached up and plucked this item down right before I hit record is my handheld realistic scanner. Now, if you uh, are a fan of You Don't Know Flack, and I'm assuming that you've listened to at least some of the episodes of You Don't Know Flack, uh, there was an episode, I believe it was 120, that was about scanners. And I told a lot of stories about listening to radio frequencies and airport towers and and um, drive through things and and, and people's cordless phones. And I talked about how uh, I listened to those on a handheld scanner. This is the scanner that I used and uh, the one that I talk about in that episode. So uh, you can see, that's interesting when I hold uh, things up to the camera, I can see that the text is reversed. This is my first one. I don't know when I upload this if it will reverse it again or or not. That'll be interesting. But uh, across the top of this one, you can see, I'm still learning how to do this, is uh, 1.3 gigahertz. Now, um, if you, this one I purchased from Canada. Now, if you had purchased this from the United States by the time I bought this, which was 1994, 1995, um, they had already blocked they passed a law that blocked the range of frequencies that were be uh that were used by cell phones which was somewhere in the 800 megahertz like 860 somewhere around there um, but they didn't have that law in canada and so if you purchased uh, this is the basically it looks exactly identical to the uh, radio shack version except because it's from canada it does not have that range blocked out so at the time I could pick up cell phone conversations with this. And uh, I think I talked about it on the episode. You didn't always get the cell phone, but what you could do is tune in to uh, cell phone repeaters, like the towers. And then, so you would be getting that part of the message. You know, the same thing happened a lot with um, cordless phones, depending on which frequency you picked up. If you picked up the bass, you would be able to hear both sides of a conversation. If you just got the handset, you would only hear one side of the conversation, the part that was being broadcast. Um, so it, it was kind of interesting, but uh, yeah, so this is the scanner. Um, I just looked up a frequency. There may not be, we may not hear anything, but um, uh, so what you could do with this is when you turn it on, you can see that there's this, um, uh, that there's no frequency set in, right? And what I would do is if you hit program and limit, you could set a low frequency, like that's uh, 119, uh, and then a high frequency, and I've put this on 126. So in that range uh, are several frequencies that are used by Will Rogers World Airport. And so then if I hit the uh, up button, and you want to adjust the squelch just below where it won't uh, uh, pick up a channel that's just full of static. And so um, now you can see that it is just scanning those frequencies. And if it picks up a conversation, uh, it will stop, it will stop scanning and it will uh, remain on that channel until the, the broadcast is finished. So I'm going to, now one of the things, <laughs> I'm gonna set it over here off to the side for a minute because um, one of the things you will hear, like if I hold it near my phone, I've noticed that it's locking in on a specific frequency every time it passes it. Um, but if I move it away from the phone, oh, I had one. I was going to pause it because there's a, um, uh, if you hit the, uh, there's a, a button to make it stop, 
scanning through the frequencies. And if you press that, it will just stay on that frequency. So um, if you pick pick up an active frequency from the airport like this. Uh, then you will be able to uh, lock into that frequency. Now I am from my house probably, if you drew a straight line, uh, 15 miles away from Will Rogers World Airport. So um, it's not the best. There are closer airports that I, I could listen to that would be uh, have a, a more clear broadcast, but they're not as busy as Will Rogers. So if you leave it scanning, I'm going to turn it off here, but if you leave it scanning on, on Will Rogers, um, there's a lot more traffic than that. That's the major airport here in Oklahoma City. So um, so I bought this, as I mentioned. I bought it because I thought it was cool. I was a kid. I was uh, uh, had you know, started working at, at Best Buy and I was making, uh, so I, first of all, I got a discount and second of all, I was making decent money uh, so I could afford uh, toys and stuff. And, um, you know, I had gone to a couple of hacker conventions and I thought, oh, this scanning thing looks interesting. It was a, a thing that you could get into that was kind of a gray area. It's not really illegal. Um, if somebody's, I always feel like the defense is if you're broadcasting something that I can pick up in my house, um, then it's not illegal for me to listen to it. And so that that was the stance I always took. Now, I do believe it is illegal to record um, conversations and then replay them. Uh, so so I've never done that. And I, there is a uh, uh, headphone jack, if you can see that, right on top of that. So you could run a uh, audio out from this and into you know anything that has a line in recording if you wanted to record. There's also an AC adapter on the side, although... Um, this has a, uh, I wonder if I can open this, if I remember how, uh, I think this uses six, six or eight AA batteries. It uses a lot of batteries. Um, there we go. Um, well, maybe this one's just four. I think my other one has used a six, but, uh, there's like two here and two here. So, um, but if you were going to do this, uh, all day, every day, then you could just get a Radio Shack uh, uh, AC adapter and plug it into the side. Uh, so the first question is, do I still use this scanner? And the answer is no. Um, and that thing hasn't been turned on in, in probably a couple of years. And I'm, I was actually surprised when I picked it up. Uh, I turned it on right before I hit record just to see if uh, uh, it needed batteries and it still works. So I'm actually surprised that the batteries are still good and I, I haven't... Uh, uh, used it in quite a while. Why do I not use it? Uh, for two reasons. Number one, so many uh, transmissions are digital or encrypted now that it's it's uh, there's just not that much to listen to anymore. But the second reason that I don't use it anymore is because it has been replaced with an app uh, or multiple apps. So I have an app uh, on my phone that uh, there, I think it's called 5.0 something. And uh, uh, it has literally, you can put any city in the country, you could put, you know, Chicago or New York, or you could just pick your local ones like Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City is on there. And there are people that are already picking up the signals that are being broadcast and they repeat them and it streams on the internet. So you can use your phone and sit there and listen so you don't have to drive around with the scanner. And it'll, what are you doing? Um, but uh, that uh, uh, really makes the scanner itself obsolete if you could do it from your phone. There's apps on the, on the computer as well, but um, you know the phone, you're, you're totally mobile. I have, I have driven around and had the phone app just running to see you know, what you can hear. And so, you know, it's interesting, sometimes you do hear um, emergency calls, ambulance runs, fire, and police is, is interesting to hear the calls that the police are, are reporting to. But, um, the disadvantage of those apps is that they're pretty specific. Like you, it says, you know, there's like Oklahoma City ambulance, that's that. But on the scanner, you know, of course you can pick up all kinds of weird stuff, you know, and not just cell phones and drive-throughs and, and uh, 
uh, you would hear that the talk for that the guys that worked for the city when they were going out checking meters and stuff, you know. So there's a lot more interesting random things, I think, on the scanner. But uh, that stuff pretty much has all been replaced by cell phones. Like you don't, you know, the guy that, that came out to fix our cable modem the other day, he wasn't using a walkie-talkie. He just used his cell phone, you know. So I think uh, by and large, a lot of those, those other broadcasts are just gone. So anyway, uh, that is episode number one of Random Rob. So I hope you enjoy that. I have probably 50 things just sitting here on my desk <laughs> waiting to be talked about. So um, thank you for watching this first one. The other ones will probably be more streamlined and, and uh, I'll get into a groove, but I, I definitely wanted to get at least one up online. So uh, again, thank you for your support and I'll see you next week.